Hi and welcome. In this video I will make a small experiment to uh, satisfy my own curiosity and I wanted to record it so that I can get uh, feedback and perhaps even corrections and to share the information. I've already made a video about these hex keys made by Vera and I briefly touched upon their hex plus design for their uh, heads, uh, super technology and whatnot. Uh, my initial uh, experience with these uh, various hex keys and uh, hex bits for bit drivers and similar is that uh, out of things that I can buy today, they seem to be among the best ones. Uh, I am not 100% sure they are better than my 50 plus year old Facom hex keys, but I can no longer buy a 50 year old Facom and uh, the new stuff made is as far as I can tell, not to the same amount of quality. Pardon my imperfect English. So, I wanted to test uh, Vera Hex Bit against uh, the good quality that I can buy today of uh, another brand and of uh, a more traditional profile. And for that, I made this <laughs> aperture. Uh, in order to create the test, I got some 6 millimeters M6 bolts. This is what they look like. These one were designed with a uh, like a button. Oh, sorry, sneaky little one with a button like head, and that has a very small. Uh, this is uh, for hex four uh, interface, which is not my preferred option for this kind of bolts. I prefer M5 at least on six millimeter hex bolts and similar but it will be perfect for my experiment. I don't like using these in practice unless I really have to for aesthetic reasons. That's why I have them as a B option when it's necessary. But I wanted to uh, test uh, how well the bit itself uh, does what it promises and that is to create a lot of torque with minimal damage to the tool and to the, the bolt. So I've uh, screwed two of these in into this old fork and thanks to it being relatively strong bolt with a relatively small head I will hopefully even be able to uh, preserve the, the thread, not damage them but just to test how much it takes to destroy this with two different types of bits so I have uh, one bit out of my uh, metabo set and uh, this is what the, the bit looks like and I will compare it with a Vera Hex Plus bit. You can hopefully see the, let me show you, the difference in their design. This uh, Hex Plus has some more curves to the sides. And uh, if you cannot tell which is which, <laughs> we'll see in practice. But this one is Hex Plus and this one is the ordinary, so Vera is blue and the ordinary design is orange, which is the new black. Okay, let's see. I will torque this up to some 5 Newton meters right away and I'll be using the same torque for both, both ones, so here it is, but we'll be using the same torque and I will start with the ordinary one on this one and Vera will be on the other one. So. I'll be using the, the same technique. Okay, it's clicked. It's already at five Newton meters. Let's try to crank it up to say six Newton meters. Let's go to seven straight away. Let's go wild. And that is the downside of this tool. Very small very small notch is very difficult to see but apart from that it's a quite good torque wrench so let's try this one now okay seven newton meters does it but it's getting a bit bit more stuck now okay let's try vera we'll try this other one with vera and let's see how it performs with seven newton meters Okay, similar, so it's biting into the, the bolt. Okay, so I will now show 
the bo both of these close up there are minimal minimal marks that are noticeable but no real damage okay let us move on i will now keep both of these in for the rest of this experiment just be removing the tool let's see about eight newton meters okay so first the the ordinary one okay let's put it in and let's give it a go okay removing the tool and now try the vera in the other one okay with the same torque okay now both of these are pretty hardly stuck to the tool so let's increase the torque to about 9 newton meters and let's see how we fare okay that's 9 for one let's try the other one okay 9 newton meters let's go to 10 Okay, let's move on. Okay, 11.5. Let's give it a go. Okay, this one is cam cam out. Slight damage. I will show them later for comparison to test. Let's see if Vera can take this 11.5. Yes, it can. Almost, almost lost it, but not quite. Okay, let's increase this further to 12. Let's see. Okay, now we've lost it. Okay, so let's show a close up. Let's wind this down. So I don't forget to do that later on. I'm not showing close-up of settings because the close-up is not important. It's the, the difference how one fares over the other and I haven't changed the setting between giving them a go alternately. So here uh, the blue one is Vera and uh, I hope you can see let's check let's fix the lighting let's try to fix the light maybe this will now look better so hope you can see the difference there is not much of a difference trying to feel it by hand okay let's examine with some magnifying glasses hopefully I will be able to tell the the difference no I would be lying if I tried to tell you which one of these is worn more Maybe Vera has a few more marks on it, but yes, maybe, maybe Vera shows a few more marks, but it did survive to a, a greater torque. And now I will try to remove this and see about the, 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 the bolts, what they look like. Let's give that a try. For that I will use another Vera hex bit and let's try to unscrew this. Ok, 
okay, it's not moving as expected. So both are both are damaged. I damaged this one a bit more now with with using with trying to unscrew it. So similar results, but it would appear that there is a bit more grippy to so perhaps a slight advantage definitely now let's see what I can do to try and remove this that will be a bit of a challenge now let's try this technique okay it's moving out moving out great simpler than I expected it to be so let's unscrew them and check the difference okay so first one then the Vera one Here you can see, hopefully. Let's try to put some glasses to look funnier. They are, they are both damaged enough to not work, so no, no questions about that. The wearer looks a bit more beaten up. But the, that's aesthetics. The fact is that neither of them works properly now. So if I try to use a, a fresh new Vera Hex driver, on this one it bites already and it shows you can feel it damaged and this one same, same situation. So they are both destroyed but Yeah, the Vera one, now that I've ruined them both, the one that I ruined with, that I had ruined with Vera, seems to uh, work uh, a bit less badly. I get a little bit more grip out of it, so it looks uglier visually, aesthetically, but it seems to provide a bit more of a bite, especially for uh, another Vera. Uh, hex bit in this case it's not a hex key but that's the design of the tool the the bit is what I'm uh, testing here and so my conclusion would be that uh, out of the things I can buy today as was my initial uh, impression uh, it's uh, it's the least bad or the best depending on whether you are an optimist or a, or a pessimist and uh, as far as the testing method goes I did not use any thread preparation or thread rubrication here because it's not necessary. I don't care about the exact amount of preload I'm creating. In this case, I only care about the torque applied to the bolt's head. I'm testing which one of the designs will provide me with more torque without damage. And uh, how much pre preload on a bolt that creates is a matter of the design of the fastener you're building or working on. And in this case, it's relevant the more torque the better as far as the tool goes and the rest is up to the whoever designs the, the interfaces and, and so on so I always pre <laughs> recommend using the, the, the mounting paste and anti-seize anti paste but in this case I did not want to test that I just wanted to test the, the design itself so uh, I could say that this is a plus for <laughs> where I X plus of course, I expect expect at least uh, uh, one goat for the the advertising <laughs> from Vera Company. But anyway, uh, I am uh, like I said, I made some video uh, demonstrations, and I did make one uh, short video where I was quite critical towards the the Vera Hex Plus. But uh, I think it's important to be uh, objective and realistic. And in this case. Uh, Everyone makes crappy tools nowadays, that's at least my opinion. I'm not selling or building tools, so it's my opinion as a user. Everyone makes crappy tools and I'm looking to get the least crappy 
and you have to pay an arm and a leg even to to get that. You cannot get some super durable, super strong. Nowadays, it's next to impossible. And uh, I'm looking for the <laughs> for the least bad and trying to see what works for me and what I can more or less rely on, knowing their limitations, of course, as well. So uh, I knew that these bolts were very problematic long before the threads are put to any strong test these uh, these heads will give away will give up and uh, it's a generally a poor design and a compromise to provide some uh, looks uh, without uh, much function so no, not recommending they should have made this deeper or some other or used the uh, torx head even better but that's a topic for separate videos I hope you find this informative. I was really curious to give this a try and wanted to see <laughs> how it fares. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. I will repeat this a few more times. And in case I see some discrepancies, I'll put that in the video's description and maybe put some tagline over the video as you're watching it when I'm editing in case I made a mistake because I think I should give it a few more tries but uh, this does so far sort of how to say align with my experience from a real world use this is also real world and <laughs> it's a real fork but from practical use when i'm working on stuff so there are uh, the vera uh, hex tox keys hex pass uh, are uh, my first go-to tool now but i'm still uh, treasuring my old uh, Four and five, I, uh, five and six. I have only those to save the the Facom hex keys for the really stubborn bolts, and uh, somehow they feel better. And I haven't got a way to to test those really against against Vera. So that is my personal opinion. It's not scientifically proven that they are better. Unfortunately, I maybe think of a way to test them, but hopefully without destroying them some other time on that thank you for watching